Whether you are a new investor taking baby steps towards building a crypto portfolio or a hardened pro here for your weekly picks of crypto gyan, you might have definitely asked yourself this question at some point. Why can't Bitcoin operate on the Ethereum blockchain or vice versa? Interoperability or the capacity of different blockchain protocols to interact and exchange value with each other has been a topic hotter than which Bollywood celebrity is going to be walking down the aisle next. The need for interoperability solutions has now been more urgent with the rise of Ethereum's decentralized finance movement or DeFi as the community pushes to put non-Ethereum based assets to work in DeFi protocols. Wrapped tokens are one way to circumvent this limitation and use non-native assets on a blockchain. The term wrapped represents an original asset that is put in a wrapper which is a kind of a digital vault that allows the wrapped asset to be created on another blockchain. Sounds a bit complicated but don't worry we'll break this down for you in this episode. a very happy new year and welcome to the episode of crypto unfiltered for 2022 where i give you crypto gyan every week in a form that's easy going and doesn't make your head go boom first let's talk about wrapped tokens a wrapped token is a cryptocurrency whose value is pegged to the cryptocurrency that it wraps एक उदाहरण के तौर पर बात करें तो बिटकॉइन अपने खुद के ब्लॉकचेन नेटवर्क पर चलता है और इथेरियम पर नहीं चल सकता जिसे हम ERC20 ब्लॉकचेन के नाम से जानते हैं क्योंकि दोनों बहुत ही अलग नेटवर्क्स पर काम करते हैं और उनके प्रोटोकॉल्स भी अलग होते हैं बट देन ERC20 ट्वेंटी इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर पावरिंग हंड्रेड ऑफ डिसेंट्रलाइज फाइनेंस प्रोजेक्ट सो टू सॉल्व दिस डिवेलपर्स है कॉपी ऑफ बिटकॉइन कॉल्ड wrapped bitcoins on the ERC20 network just like how the value of a stable coin is pegged to real life fiat currencies like the dollar or the rupee wrapped tokens derive value from the cryptocurrency they are tied to one on one iska matlab hai ki ek wrapped bitcoin ki value aur ek actual bitcoin ki value bilkul barabar hi hogi waise hi jaise ki ek ether wrapped aur ek ether ki value bilkul same hogi to own a wrapped token you have to first hold its original cryptocurrency as the value of a wrapped token is tied to the original it requires the user to have a custodian that holds the same amount of money as the wrapped token in the world of cryptocurrency a custodian refers to any entity that offers services to secure one's digital assets this can be a merchant a wallet or even a cryptocurrency exchange that provides storage services such as coin switch kuber let's try to break down the process for you a bit you want to wrap one bitcoin to be used on a defi platform powered by ethereum so start by sending a wrapping request for one bitcoin to your custodian via your merchant your merchant then takes over as an intermediary and performs two tasks sending one bitcoin to the custodian for minting and sending a wrapped coin request to the defi platform once the defi platform approves the request the custodian mints one wrapped bitcoin because you sent one bitcoin the custodian releases one wrapped bitcoin to the merchant and the merchant releases one wrapped bitcoin to you allowing you to trade one wrapped bitcoin on the defi platform the entire process is facilitated by smart contracts and is the same if you intend to unwrap your token that is changing your one wrapped bitcoin to an actual bitcoin the merchant sends a burn request then to the custodian that releases the original bitcoin back to the owner when approved wrapping your token comes at a cost because several parties are involved in the process there are three types of fees that you have to pay merchant fees custodian fees and the transaction fees if you need to run the video back again to understand the whole process please do so and please grab a pen and a paper because this can be complicated to understand for people who are especially watching this for the first time The crypto culture seems to be growing rapidly in India with adoption increasing among young men 
and women. In a report, the Indian crypto exchange coin switch Kuber claimed that out of its user base of 14 million Indians, 15% are women. The findings come at a time when India is still deciding ways to regulate and potentially tax crypto activities and the income generated from trading. Shiba Inu can't help stay away from headlines as the meme-based dog coin was named the most popular cryptocurrency on the international market tracker coin market cap surpassing Bitcoin and Ether and Dogecoin to become the most viewed coin on the platform in 2021. Trends if you crypto is not something special for this week and it is also a little bit of a reason. Metamask named a crypto firm that it will be dropped in its crypto mask in their users' wallets. Airdrop Following this development, an allegedly fake MetaMask token emerged in the crypto market, which became available for trading on the Uniswap platform. Within a small time period, this MetaMask token reportedly soared by 2600%. As soon as the fake tokens worth $1 million was sold, the sale was logged, raising suspicion of a rug pull scam. Elsewhere, an art gallery operator and non-fungible token collector by the name of Todd Kramer, based out of New York, has declared that his collection of 16 Board Ape Yacht Club's NFT worth $2.8 million was hacked and then went on to state that the NFT marketplace OpenSea had frozen the assets for him. We also saw the Central American country of El Salvador talk about facing crypto-related issues after its citizens complained about fraudulent transactions in their government-issued Chivo wallets. In recent days, some Salvadorans have complained that Bitcoin tokens in their Chivo wallets are going missing mysteriously. Imagine something like this happening to you. Boy, would you lose it. The values of Bitcoin and Ether saw a rally midweek going above the $42,500 resistance level and even spike above $44,000 before correcting lower. At the time you're watching this, there is a fair bit of consolidation happening which is to suggest that the rally has lost steam. With Omicron as one of the reasons, investors think that the only solution to this is an investment in Bitcoin because of its resistance levels compared to other coins. Now, in terms of values, Bitcoin and Ethereum have had a tough time over the past week trying to get over the December slump. Things look better in perspective this week and investors hope that it will continue so. For now, there is no recessive mood seen in major coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum and Binance coin but experts suggest that volatility may continue. In the topsy-turvy world of meme coins, some hope has been restored. Shiba Inu went through hard times during the recent recession but it has begun to improve as evident from the growth of 5.6% over the past week. Similarly, Dogecoin saw a reversal in fortunes too with a 7.6% improvement over the past week. Elsewhere, popular metaverse cryptocurrencies haven't been doing well. The likes of Vulcan Forged, which is an NFT marketplace and blockchain game studio running on the Polygon network saw a 33% increase in value this week, while Daphina Finance, a play-to-earn NFT game built on the Binance Smart Chain, climbed by 23%. And now we come to another important section in this video and that's tracking the performance of some of the major tokens out there. This way you get a better idea about which tokens to invest in. If we look at our crypto tracker for the week, we can see that Bitcoin has had a 1.92% rise while Ethereum is up by 3.24%. Tether suffered a slight drop of 0.54% while Cardano and Ripple have been on the up. Shiba Inu seems to be doing well with 11.43 rise in the last 24 hours. It's going to be interesting to see what 2022 holds for crypto and its investors. From regulations to tips around how to be secure while investing, we'll be getting you everything in our future episodes. That's it for Crypto Unfiltered for this week. If you have any questions around cryptocurrency or any jargon you don't understand, send them across to us on our Twitter and Facebook pages and we'll have an expert answer them for you. This is Cyrus John signing off with a promise that I will be back with more crypto next week. See you soon.